is new. My name? Unique, yeah. It is unique. Very old, though. It's an old name. I like that. Oh, thank you. OG. That's... Okay. Yeah, I'll take it. Sweet. So, as an Australian, something that I really admired about your character is that for about three quarters of the movie, you're hungover. Or should really be hungover. Mm -hmm. How does someone be that successful and capable with that much of an extreme hangover. Teach me your secrets. That's probably what she was drinking. You have to know what to drink not to get a hangover. Can't be a lot of sugary drinks. Um, I literally, I don't drink hard alcohol that much anymore, um, but if I were to have something, it would probably be not a lot of sugar. Maybe like a tequila straight. It's not a lot of calories. And you get the top line, because you won't get a headache. Uh -huh. Things like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right. smart. She's smart. She knows what to drink and what not to drink to get a hangover. Because you have been a, a wife and you do have children. Mm -hmm. I want to know though, since this is an R-rated movie, mm -hmm. how old will they have to be and when can they watch Mummy in this role? As 18. <laughs> I don't mess around about an R rating. <laughs> um, they will have to be, you know, they will have to be grown-ups. Oh, they're like, Mom! Yeah. Do I don't know if they should ever see it. I joined my daughter in karate, in her karate class the other day. She's been taking forever. and. She's a great karate student. And I, finally, she was old enough and, and far enough along, and I said, do you mind if I join? And she said, oh, that'd be fun. And I got in there, and she was like, gosh, Mom, you're kind of intense. <laughs> and I realized, OK, all right, I need to sit back down and be a mom. I, I want to talk about the this movie. It seems like it could be a chick flick, because it's called What Men Want, and that's easily like the bait to get those women you in. Get to in figure the it out. You see it. And then it's sport. There's so, there is a hoop next to you. So, do you like the fact that there is a whole lot of sport in apparently what is a chick flick? Well, I wouldn't, you, you title it, you know, a chick flick, but I don't think anybody, I just call it a movie. And it happens to revolve around sports, sports is the environment. But she's in this world, and that's what makes it a great movie. Because she's in this male-dominated world, and she has this gift now. And uh, she realizes, I don't know, if it's a gift or curse, I don't know. Yeah. Do you know why I called it a chick flick? Because I loved it. Because I thought it was hysterical. You, oh, great. Because I had moments I'm with so this happy. movie. I'm so happy. Do you think that after this movie, or already, there are other mothers that are like, just don't, don't mess with Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jenna. It's so good to see you. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Love Hopefully, every... I really feel the respect when I go to to Flagline at school in the morning. <laughs> We're saying pledge of the pledge allegiance. I hope they really look at me and are like, oh, yeah. Let me bring you some coffee. No. Um, I also want to talk about the bloopers of this movie and if there are any, because you are with you know gang lords and you're in the, the underbelly of crime mm. and everyone's got face tattoos and then there's you. <laughs> Were there any moments where you, someone broke and you're all in a fit of giggles? Because that would be something. I have to say, I am really known for getting the giggles at work. I definitely am someone who gets the giggles. I don't think it happened on this movie. What? I know. Did, I, no one was laughing? It was pretty hardcore. I think between takes, my adrenaline was revving so high that it was pretty much, what do we need to do? Let's go again. I mean, not in a nasty way, but in, I was very, very focused. I was, it was very physical. It was the middle of the night and I got punched a lot. So. It wasn't that that funny. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a spleen this time. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay. Exactly. But my double and I always laugh, so oh, that's, we, we that's definitely good. laugh. But I don't know if there were bloopers in the traditional way of there being bloopers. Fair enough. Uh, and there's also a lot of um, life and career balance happening as well. Yes. And I find that that's also like sort of a really hard thing to do. Climb the ladder, be really good at your job, and then actually have time for friends, for family, for life. Welcome to my life. Yeah, how, <laughs> since you're on a roll with all yeah. these tips. You know what? <clears throat> you have to make the time. You can't let, like, I love to work, but then there comes a time where I have to go, you know what? I can't work right now because it's important that I see my family. You know, it's important, it's imperative that me and my fiance get time together. Um, Cause he was originally, when we first started dating, he was nervous because of my work hours. And he was like, how am I gonna get to know this woman? She's working all the time. So then it comes to the point where you have to put your foot down and you demand time for yourself. Because what's the joy and how can you enjoy uh, or reap the benefits of, of your harvest if you don't take time to? And that's the thing, it's like, I'm too busy to date. Right. And that's a real thing. And that's it is. Sad thing. But are you too busy to date or are you running from dating? Are you busying yourself so that you can't date? I feel seen. Just a question. That was a bit close to home. <laughs> So the premise of this movie is uh, kind of centered around spirituality, really, yeah. and tarot reading, and it's like solving problems using 
seeing a little bit of supernatural here where mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all of a sudden Ali is able to hear men's thoughts. Mm -hmm. I want to know what is your connection with tarot? Because I think that that's sort of such a fun thing, like seeing psychics or like kind of tapping into that side of it all. I can't see a psychic today. You know, 20, 30 years pre-internet, maybe. Now, no. All you have to do is Google a person and you can find, go on their Facebook. So I don't believe you. And I'm not going to give you my money to tell me what I already know. Right, so <laughs> therapy is the new... Therapy! <laughs> there you go! Got it, got it. <laughs>